Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a reading for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, no matter what your placement is. Could resonate with you. So, the overall energy here, I don't know, I feel very cold. So, someone feels left out, or they're just, they've been very cold to you, or you've been cold to someone. Something like that. Put it where it fits. But, we have reconnecting here and what's standing out on this card is I want us back us so there's someone here from your past that wants to reconnect with you or you want to reconnect with another person keep your temper don't allow anger to rule you I feel like if I don't know there's a connection here where it's over and done with, and someone might be very upset that it's over and done with. I don't know who is who here, you or them, but I always come back to you. So there's someone from someone's past that it's like, it's a karma cycle. You keep, you keep going back to the same person. Even if you don't date them again, your mind always goes back to them for some reason. And the reason could be because you need to heal something from that situation or within that situation. But I do feel like if you connect with someone new or if they do, whoever this person is that might get angry, I feel like they'll get mad that you move forward is what this feels like. But because um, there's, there's someone stuck on the past and they're upset and they're upset. They don't want you to move on or you don't want them to move on. Something like that. And then we have Twin Flames, which was standing out in this one is Heaven Sent. So I feel like someone who is stuck in a karmic cycle, who is stuck on the past, who's upset and angry that things didn't work out. Maybe they're blaming themselves or the other person, whatever the situation is. Wow, the, some of the temper card just like kind of popped up. It's almost like there's a pressure cooker here. Someone's holding back their, their anger. They're holding back their feelings and they might blow. Um, and it is someone from the past because someone really wants to reconnect with you or you want to reconnect with them. But with the twin flame, heaven sent energy, it's like someone new was sent into your life or, um, you were sent into somebody's life. There's a new connection here. And we have that with follow the white rabbit, curiosity meets opportunity. So I kind of feel like someone might be exploring their options or they're exploring a connection because they feel... They feel very connected to someone new and there's someone from the past who's not going to be happy about it or they're they're already not happy about it or they're going to be really pissed when when this comes together huh i'm in that's what i just heard i'm in i'm in this let's do this you shared a past life with whoever this new person is whether you're aware of it or not but yeah, there's like old and new here. So the past could be holding somebody back in some sort of way. And for some reason, I want to pull, let's see. I want one on the temper reconnect thing. Yeah, someone is hiding their emotions, a false mask. They're pretending that they don't give a crap if you move forward, if things don't work out. But they're really mad about your forward movement. Or you're mad about somebody from the past forward movement. Something like that. Someone is pretending. Ready to release this love lock. They're, they're mad that, that they can't block your forward movement. That's what this is. Someone from the past is trying to stop you from finding love. It's almost like it's okay if you have fun, if you play around, if you, it, you know, if it's all this non-committal crap. But the second something gets serious, it's like, no. You could have blocked this person, but I feel like I don't know. Whoever this is feels like they might have a chance with the past person, but there's some fucking fake bullshit here. Someone's pretending. And they're definitely hiding their their anger. I don't know. This person's Locks are significant. Locks, lock and key, something, but something to do. 
you lock them out. But there's some significant with a lot significance with a lock, but someone has a bad temper and they're 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 pushing it down. So that's what they're doing. It I don't know, the past can be a problem sometimes. And that's what that looks like for you or whoever you're connecting to. So what's up with the twin flame? You are my lifeline, I can't lose you. So whoever's heaven sent to you, it's like you want that person in your life. Or they really want you in theirs. It's like, I don't want to lose this opportunity. True love stories never end. Um, so someone might have some questions and want to come in and speak to you. Or you want to speak to someone. Um, it's almost like, alright, I want. I don't really understand what, what this connection is all about. I don't really know why I'm so drawn to you. I don't know, you know, what does all this mean, basically. Um, if there is an opportunity to reconnect or to connect with whoever this person is. And really see where something goes. Because if this is, if this is truly someone who is heaven sent, you know, they were, they're supposed to be in your life, that love story won't end, you know, it'll just continue on. Because every love story has bullshit in it, you know what I mean? There could be tragedy and upset and all that crap, and then the happily ever after at the end. And I'm not saying that, that you guys aren't being realistic, because I feel like most of you are being extremely realistic and it's almost it's hard to believe in this fantastical fantasy type stuff you know fairy tales are fiction um that type of energy but you know dreams do come true and everyone's fairy tale is different you know what i mean it's not it doesn't mean it has to be written by disney you know what i mean but anyways so let's see what's going on here for my earth sign so there's new love coming in. Um, some of you know this person, most of you do. But I feel like it's almost like you guys know each other on a soul level, but in the physical, you need to really get to know each other more because I don't feel like you spent much time with whoever this is. If you know them, if you don't, they're coming in your life and and you'll need to learn how to um You'll need to learn time management because I'm looking at the clock so that you can make time for this person. Maybe you didn't make time for them before if you know them or they didn't for you. But I feel like for this new connection, there's a need to fit someone into your busy schedule, basically. A leg up. The past could be someone who has been helping you or helping someone in this situation. I almost feel like some of you could have been helping someone from your past, like uh, someone you share family with. That's going on in this situation for someone. And then we have blessed. Yeah, this new connection is a blessing. It's a bless. I want to say it's a blessing in disguise, but it's not even in disguise. It's been out in the open is what this feels like. It's just maybe some one of you didn't see it as a blessing. Yeah, someone didn't see this new connection as a blessing or you won't when this person comes in. I feel like you already know them for most of you. Because <coughs> there's a hang up with the past. Hell, you could be someone's blessing because I'm pointing to the star on the polar bear. Bears are significant. Fairies. <laughs> Stars. Sometimes less is more. Whatever that means to you. For some of you, there could be a mama bear, like a baby mama or something, that might get a little pissed off if, if you're, you know, a masculine energy and you're moving towards someone new because maybe they feel like if you are in a commitment um, and you're happy, you're not going to help them as much as you, you are. Because there is an earth, an earth sign. There's someone who's in this earth energy who is helping their child's mother. Probably, I almost feel like there was a level of hope that that connection would come back together, at least in the past, until this new person came in. Because there's like a shift here in energies. But there's, I don't know, there's a man helping his, his child's mother, basically. And that, that mother might be pretending that everything's fine. Like, you know, oh, I'm, I'm so happy for you, but this person does not. This person does not want you to move forward because 
they're blocking love. They, they don't, they don't want to lose out on the benefits or whatever that is. That's what that feels like. And for others of you, there's just someone here who is receiving help from the past. It could be child support or alimony or just someone's very helpful from their past. Um, and there could have been misconceptions with that or whatever. But it's, I don't know, there's someone who's pissed. And they're hiding it. Whatever that is. Do I want to use this one or that one? Uh, we'll use tarot sexual magic. Screw it. There's a lot of healing energy here. There's someone in this energy needed to heal from the past. I feel like... I feel like one person is or did. They're, they've already let go of it. And there's someone else who's kind of stuck to the past. And that's the one who's going to get mad. A cat. Something to do with a cat. I just heard, I see you. We have the three of wands. I see you. This is like the soldier on leave energy. I always say that with this card. Because they're like so excited to see each other. It's been forever. Oh my gosh. Oh. I just want to embrace you. Someone could have seen a connection between you and whoever this newer person is. They could have, even if you didn't kiss them or hug them or whatever, someone could have witnessed that you connected with another person. And that's, and that could be where some of the problems are coming in. Yeah. So we have the seven of wands. This is guarded energy. It's protected. I had to wait for protection. It's like protection purposes. So someone could have been protecting you or you were protecting them. It's almost like I needed to wait something out because I was, I don't know. Whoever this is was blocking the other person from a problem. like. You don't realize how bad this this could get because someone is just nasty I don't know there was a need to wait because of the past so that's what that feels like and then we have the death card the blessed this is an ending ending outdated shit because it's a transformation. There's a change here. It's scorpionic energy. Because there's a wish. It's healing too. It's like ending something so that you can heal. That's exactly what this feels like. There could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius who is helping an earth energy um, heal from an ending. From the death of someone. Or just from, you know, past crap. Whatever ended for them. Why ever... What, Helping them get through their own blockages because there's a love block here. It's like somebody had their walls up and probably left you waiting or you left someone waiting. And time was needed to heal. I don't know. Whoever this new person is to you has a very healing energy and... I do feel like they've helped you a lot. They've helped you see things from a different perspective. They've helped you heal and let go of certain things. For some of you, the dead have helped you heal or helped have helped heal this situation. But I do feel like there is someone on the other side, a loved one, an ancestor of yours or whatever, who <coughs> sent this newer person to you to help you. To show you what love is. <laughs> to show you that you are lovable. That your past doesn't define you. I don't know. Like I said, this connection, this newer one, this other one, is heaven sent. You were in this person's life for a reason. Um, and I almost feel like some of you might want to reach out to that person in some sort of way. Because maybe you're a little curious as to what this all means. You know, like, it's almost like, why are you in my life? Some of, I don't know, something like this. There is a reconciliation coming in. Ooh, a secret admirer. Or someone who really loves you or you're secretly admiring another person. Because this is the new energy. Okay, I want 
February is very significant. Yeah, that's the month we're in right now. Major challenge to overcome, which is the past. So I feel like someone's over trying to overcome some past crap, whatever held them back, basically. Or whoever's stopping this forward move, movement, whoever's like, no. Um, that's part of the obstacle. It could be more than one person trying to stop a connection, but let's see, what is this? Excuse me, actually. What is, give me more on this new connection, please. We're gonna actually put away the problem because we don't need anyone flying off the handle. I actually want more on the anger first, hold on. So let's see, what is up with this? No erroneous this deck for that. Why is this person so mad? What is their anger about? It's like if they're not happy, they don't want you to be happy. Because I feel like even if this person said they wanted to reconnect and be with you, um, they don't. Whoever this ex is, it's an ex, it's a past person. Um, whoever that is to you, because of this new person, they might resurface and come back around or whoever you're dealing with, this is happening to them. It's happening to someone. So basically there's someone who's like, I don't want you to move on. I don't want you, but I don't want you to be happy. So I'm going to put a mask on and pretend that I love you because I just want to block love. That's what this is. And it's not working, which is probably pissing this person off. Yeah, it's not working. It's someone that you are either in a long-term commitment with or you were married to them once upon a time, something like that, or whoever you're dealing with, that's what they're going through dealing with. Um, yeah, because that cat looks all sweet and innocent, but it's got fucking fangs. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's a ton of cups. Yeah, someone does not want you to be fucking happy. Someone is mad that you're happy, that you're getting what you want, or they will be. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. This person might be trying to give you or them everything that they think that you want. And they might not even know what the hell you want. You know what I mean? Because whoever this is thinks they know you better than anyone else. But I feel like they don't know you like like they think they do because you've grown, you've changed. But they do not want you to be happy. They're mad about your happiness or they will be. That's what the anger is about. Because there's regret sitting there too. Someone in this situation might regret might be regretting that they didn't move forward with this new connection um, sooner because of whatever whatever that problem was. You know what I mean? They could have listened to lies. Yeah, they could have listened to someone who's very arrogant. But what's up with the new love? Because let's look let's look towards the future for happy stuff. You know what I mean? Someone could have lied about their feelings. Someone, someone listened to lies. Someone could have lied about you or whoever this new person is to you. There could have been lies spread about them that deterred you away because there's a love block and it could have came from the past. So just say it. Yeah, well, this is true love. This is beautiful. It's the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the past shit is like a karmic lesson in love. That's what that feels like. This could be online love or there's online communication here. Falling in love with someone online. So some of you could be doing online dating. Or that's how you guys have really connected. Even if you know them in person, it could be through social media of some kind where you guys message each other, text or whatever. But this feels like this person might be paying attention to you online in some sort of way. But that's how you guys were communicating um, for the most part. <coughs> and then we have clarity. So there's some type of information and truth coming out online. And it has to do with matters of the heart. Because um, I feel like I'm sitting back and just gathering information. I'm just, you know, paying attention, watching, listening, learning. Yeah, there's wish fulfillment here. It's like I prayed for you before I even knew who you were to me. Even if you've known this person forever. It's like... I don't know. I almost feel like I'm falling in love with someone I least expect. That's what that feels like. The Empress, because it's your fucking Empress. Someone's watching the Empress. This feminine energy, this Empress energy is online. 
Um, and there could be an ex who is stalking this person. Could be your ex is stalking this person to keep, you know, him or her away. Or this person's ex is watching them, paying attention. But I do feel like there's online communication and we have, this is worth the investment. It's waiting. The Empress could be waiting for clarity, waiting for the truth, waiting for you to say something, or you're waiting for someone to say something to you. Because this, this feels like building something. Um, it's like waiting for the outcome to see if it will be fruitful. Is it worth the investment? Yes, it is. Because I feel like this... This person makes you happy. Yeah, it could be a friend of yours, but there's a reconciliation. A reason to celebrate is what this feels like. A coming together. You could have mutual friends with this person, too. Like, you could know some of the same people. And that could be where some of the problems coming in for this situation. But with the sunshine, it's shining down here underneath everything. So it's like a reflection. This person could be a reflection of you or they're reflecting back to you what's going on in your situation, what you need to know so you can work through your stuff to move forward because that's what this healing energy is. It is wish fulfillment, but it's also, you know, learning how to love yourself and learning how to accept love into your life because if you've dealt with shitty people your whole life, you can be very walled off and it's like, because um, we saw the past crap there, that, that that is crap. And it's like, it's hard to let someone in when you've been hurt so much um but it almost feels like the truth is underneath it all the truth is underneath it all the truth is underneath it all whatever that means to you of course this one's getting kind of long so I will pull one more card. Let's see, we'll do a moon card. What is Earth signs? What do Earth signs need to know real quick? All you need is love, love, love. All you need is love. Color green is significant, springtime flowers like I don't know something to do with flowers meditate and contemplate so take time for yourself and follow your your heart not what other people think or say some of you are mediums and you don't even realize it um, expect powerful change. Communication is key. Step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, let go of the past and do something. Be bold, be brave, do something out of the norm. Um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And I do feel like someone wants to talk to you. And I feel like you really want to talk to somebody too. But there's, there's going to be some powerful change within communication. I feel like the powerful change is coming because someone said something. Some information came out. There's some clarity. But I feel like you'll really start seeing the changes in your physical reality the second you start communicating with whoever this newer person is or whoever you need to speak to because all those unanswered, un all those unanswered questions can be answered, especially if you and whoever this is are going to be truthful with one another. And it doesn't feel like the past person is who you need to talk to. It's whoever this, you know, heaven sent person is to you. Um, and you'll know who that is because you'll just feel it like, like there's something significant about whoever this is, whether you're in love with them right now or not, it's, there's something significant about this person. Like, it's almost like, I don't want to, I don't want you to go out of my life for some fucking reason. Like, so there's a, look at the big picture, you know? but that's what I have for you guys. Love you guys.